Michael Karn. Uh, this next song is from a record that uh, Frank Sinatra made with Antonio Carlos Jobim and uh, is uh, for a, a record that we made commemorating that collaboration was called Sinatra and Jobim at 50. Very much. That was a great record that they made together, and uh, I got to uh, commemorate that record with the grandson of Antonio Carlos Jobim, Daniel Jobim. We played here a number of summers ago here and uh, got back together, made the record called Sinatra and Jobim at 50, as I mentioned. Uh, and Daniel explained to me how his grandfather, uh, how actually, how Sinatra got in touch with his grandfather. In 1966, you couldn't just friend him on Facebook. Uh, you had to uh, uh, make a very expensive phone call to Brazil to find this fellow, and Sinatra called Jobim's house in Rio, and, and uh, Jobim's wife answered the phone and said, he's not here, sorry. And he said, well, where is he? He's at, his, he's at the bar. He's at the Ipanema bar, if you want to find him, really. And because uh, Jobim's uh, pattern of working was uh, six in the morning, get up, uh, have a little coffee, go to the piano, work at the piano from six till noon, and at noon, go to the bar. Uh, your work is over, you've done your six hours. And he went to that same bar where he sat with Vinicius de Moraes, and they were drinking beer, watching that girl walk to the bar. She'd go to the beach, and she'd go back, and they'd have another beer, and she'd go back, and they'd have another beer, and back, and beer, and beer, and back, and then finally, Jobim said to Vinicius, hey man, check her out. She's so tall and tan. Oh my God, get a piece of paper. And that's how great songs are born. <clears throat> and so uh, uh, Sinatra got the number for the bar. He had to call the bar. And bartender answers, Ipanema Bar, Joao, may I help you? This is like to speak to Tom Jobim. And uh, who's calling? This is Frank Sinatra. He goes, sure. <laughs> 
and uh, Antonio Carlos, he says, Frank Sinatra for you. And he comes and he says, sure, that's a good one, Joao. And he picks up the phone, how you doing, Frank? And Fra Frank started to speak. He went, oh, it is Frank Sinatra. <laughs> <clears throat> and the piano playing Jobim was very excited uh, because Sinatra said, come on up to Los Angeles. We'll make a record of those crazy bossa novas you're writing. And Jobim said, that's great. I would love to be a part of that. And Sinatra said, I just have one crazy request. And, and you know, Jobim said, anything for you, Frank? And he said, I want you to play guitar on the record. He says, well, I play piano. He says, yeah, but the guitar looks so good, you know. <laughs> and he did know how to play guitar. And Sinatra even bought him the guitar. Uh, and he played guitar on the record because uh, actually, as Daniel said, he says, Sinatra likes the Latin lover look. And you can all understand that. So uh, there's a video of them actually uh, from a, a show called Sinatra, Man and His Music. And there's uh, uh, Jobim playing those chords on the guitar. Tuxedo looking great. Sinatra right across from Tuxedo singing and smoking. Tall and tan and yellow. <laughs> You know, I got to open, I got to open uh, 16 concerts for Frank Sinatra in 1993. I did six concerts in Germany, thank you. And uh, I just wanted to drop that one in casually. <laughs> and then we did another 12 concerts here in the United States. The closest I got to St. Louis was Aurora, Illinois. Uh, but uh, we got to play the Garden State Arts Center in Homedale, New Jersey, which is now the Dwayne Reed Walgreens Center of the Arts. And I had my father, Bucky Pizzarelli, who was a great jazz guitarist. I had him, uh, uh, I said, why don't you play rhythm guitar with us? It's a home game. And he was like, well, I don't have to buy a ticket. This is great. So uh, he's the Jack Benny of jazz. So uh, I put him in the band and he played and I said, when, you're, when we're done, we, we stand in the wings and we watch Sinatra. It's really great. So we stood in the wings, and there was Sinatra, and about 30 minutes in, he lights the cigarette. It's quarter to three. There's no one in the place except you and me. And he doesn't blow the smoke out till New York, New York, 45 minutes later. <laughs> Amazing. Life is dull, it's nothing but one big lull And presto, you do a skull Find yourself reeling She sighs in your feeling Like a toy on a string And your heart goes ring-a-ding-ding Ring-a-ding-ding, ring-a-ding-ding How could that funny face It seemed to be commonplace Project your right into space Without any warning You don't know if it's morning Nighttime, winter, or spring What's the difference? Ring-a-ding-ding, ring-a-ding-ding, ring-a-ding-ding she takes your hand, this captivating creature And like it's planned, you're in the phone book Hunting down the nearest preacher Life is swell, you're off to that small hotel Somewhere a village bell will sound in the steeple Announcing to people, love's the loveliest thing And the bell goes ring-a-ding
she takes your hand This captivating creature And like it's planned You're in the phone book Hunting down the nearest preacher Life is swell You're off to that small hotel Somewhere a village bell Will sound in the steeple Announcing the people Love's the loveliest thing And the bell goes ring-a-ding Conrad Peschkutsky and Michael Carr. Uh, before we bring out Catherine, I'm going to play a number on the guitar. This is a seven string guitar. Uh, the regular guitar is here, and it has a low A string. It's the Jack Webb model. And uh, it, the string, the idea of the guitar was invented by a na man named George Van Epps uh, from Plainfield, New Jersey. It was a rhythm guitar player in many bands, including Benny Goodman and Ray Noble. And uh, he wanted the guitar to have more of a range like the piano. So uh, instead of chords like this, he now had, you don't need a bass player now. And, and tonight, I did it this afternoon for the first time, so this is the second time I'll be playing this piece. Uh, because the problem with learning new songs is you have to then play them in front of people. Because uh, they sound really great in front of the TV. And you play them all every, you know, and you're sitting there going, this is the greatest thing I ever came up with. And, uh, and then you have to play them in front of people, and uh, you have to fail in front of people. I'm setting you up, you see. Uh, you just have to play it and, and hope that it works in front of people. It's one of the key things about uh, learning to do anything is that you eventually have to do it in public. And that's when you really know if it's going to work. So uh, this is a song. And also, the other thing about this thing is I have a father uh, who's a jazz guitarist. We've already talked about that. And he knows every song ever written on the guitar. He can sit and you can go, hey, I did just I play this thing for him. And he goes, well, you can play it like this, too. <laughs> you know, so that's, that doesn't help. Uh, so this is actually a song that he hasn't played ever. He never played this song. So that's like the one song that I could learn and go, oh, he doesn't play that one. And that's the problem that I have to make it up. So that's the other double, the other conundrum is, this is coming out of here and coming out of there. Oh, please, you people. <laughs> Thank you, San Francisco. <laughs> so, um, so anyway, it's a song called Swingin' on a Star, written by Jimmy Van Heusen and Johnny Burke. Uh, and uh, it's one of my favorite songs. It was recorded by Sinatra, so it falls into the blue eyes category. Uh, at the end, hopefully we won't have red eyes from crying. <laughs> Thank you. 
best thing I get to say all night is, ladies and gentlemen, Catherine Russell.
in a julep or two. The thrill of a such that you might give a such you might plea, cast a spell over me. Still I say to myself, get a hold of yourself. Can't you see that this never can be? You go to my head with a smile that makes my temperature rise like a summer with a thousand Julys. You intoxicate my soul with your eyes. Though I'm certain that this heart of mine hasn't a ghost of a chance in this crazy romance. You go to my The thrill of a thought that you might give a thought to my plea cast a spell over me. Still I say to myself, get a hold of yourself. Can't you see that this never can be? You. smile that makes my temperature rise like a summer with a thousand Julys. You intoxicate my soul with your eyes. Though I'm certain that this heart of mine hasn't a ghost of a chance in this crazy romance. You go to my Only. I'd rather be lonely than happy with somebody 